In this Bitcoin update today, I want to show you what I have found in the charts. And there is a huge move just happening right now, even after that Elon Musk pump. So hi, my name is Alex from Iron Crypto. Let's jump here directly into the charts. So as you can see here, we are potentially, so we have potentially formed here an inverse head and shoulders pattern. It is not the most beautiful one, but it's still the one here on the one hourly time frame. So and now let's see where the target would be for this pattern. So you take here from the neckline all the way down to the lowest point, this, uh, this line, and then you put it to the breakout level. So uh, to the moment we broke above the neckline. So, and that was here at this point. So that gives us a high target here of $36,400. So, and as you guys know, I had uh, told you in my last video already that I had based on the other breakout that I've seen already taken a long position. Otherwise, at this breakout, at the neckline, if you saw this head and inverse head and shoulders pattern before me, that would have been the right moment to open another long position here. I had here, uh, based on this falling wedge, taken my long position here when I saw this breakout here happening. And now the Bitcoin price is, as I told you, running here into this resistance box here. And for now, we are getting rejected there. So that is something that I was expecting that this can happen. So it could be that the price is now bouncing a little bit around until it gets into the box. But eventually, we will clear that box if we hit the technical target of this inverse head and shoulders pattern here. Because that target shows us we should definitely get here to $36,400. Dollars and here on our falling wedge chart that would bring us approximately to this level here so well above the first bigger resistance box that we have here so we might clear that box and once we are above that box there is nothing than thin air between the this resistance level and the next resistance up to forty thousand dollars so there is a potential that when we hit the uh, $36,400 target of the inverse head and shoulders that we get actually a move all the way up here to the next resistance box and potentially get there first a rejection and then we might break through it. So, but guys, you also should not forget it is the weekend. It is a weekend breakout. So, and the weekend breakouts, they are not so significant like in the week because we create these gaps on the weekends that I have also mentioned in my earlier videos, the CME gaps, and the price tends to come back to these gaps to fill it. So because we are now in a weekend breakout, there is a potential uh, scenario that the Bitcoin price will come back to the price of Friday, which was at 32000 if I'm correct here, or $31,000 to fill the gap and then actually move to the upside again. So we should be uh, aware of that and pay close attention to the Bitcoin chart and what is happening there. So, but the next thing is, I also want to show you here my long trade right now. So I had told you, I took here along at, and at the B World conference when Elon Musk has said that he owns Bitcoin and also SpaceX and Tesla. So that, Position was open at $32,642. And right now I'm approximately here in 67% uh, profit, which um, estimates in $6,400 approximately. So I will take soon, pretty, pretty soon, some profits here on this trade um, just for, um, yeah, to cover my position here and, uh, yeah, to book some profits. We should always book some profits here. And when we go now here to the descending triangle that we were forming here, you can see here on the daily chart, we are finally sitting above it with that breakout. So if that breakout above that descending triangle is not a fake out, then we will see here also more upside. So let's look here if we are actually sitting above the EMA ribbon already. No, but here with the EMA ribbon, we can see we are breaking in it finally. So, and what we want to see here is that we are sitting on top of it. And that aligns also again with the target of the uh, inverse head and shoulders. So if we get, go all the way to the technical target, then we will sit 
above the daily EMA ribbon, which is a really, really bullish sign. And then this EMA ribbon should also flip around again so that the yellow string is on top. And then we are even on the daily in a new bull trend. So let's check here on the four hourly. On the four hourly, we are already in a new bull trend. So that are really good news for now. So let's hope that we stay in this trend for quite a while. So that is something uh, that makes me definitely bullish. And on the one hour, we are definitely also then in one. Yeah, and here we are also clearly above this EMA ribbon. So my analysis for, uh, let's say, the next couple of hours and uh, into Monday is that we should get here into higher levels all the way up to the technical target of our um, inverse head and shoulders pattern here. So, and uh, that we should move here higher to the upside to the technical target close to $36,400. And I will take potentially my first profits halfway along at $34,600. And then I will ride with the rest um, all the way up to the technical target. So if you want to take advantage of my trading calls, then um, you can go to my Twitter account, my crypto coach. Normally I send them there. And you, then you can go to the pinned comment below and also take advantage of the initial bonus that you can get after you have deposited uh, some crypto on Femex or on Bybit. Uh, you get an accumulated bonus of $1,500 across both exchanges. So uh, you only have to do an initial deposit to claim your bonus there. And then you can uh, take advantage of my trade call. So and this bonus is absolutely for free. So, and you don't have to trade with the money that you deposit. Uh, you can only trade with the bonus. So, and with a 20X leverage, that is a $30,000 trade absolutely for free that you can also then afterwards withdraw. So yeah, for today, that's it already. Please smash up the like, click the subscribe button, smash up the notification bell. And as always guys, see you tomorrow.